Hi, I'm Gina, and I am here with Stacy, who is the National Sales Manager of Deco Art. And boy, paint is really popular right now. Stacy, what are the biggest trends you're seeing in paint right now? Well, the biggest trend that we're seeing at Deco Art is the paint pouring trend. And we've introduced a lot of new products to capture that trend. Okay, and paint, paint pouring. I mean, that sounds like I could do it. It is, it's very <laughs> easy. I can do it and I'm, I'm in sales, so okay. I can do it so anybody can do it. So obviously you use paint and mm -hmm. I, I've heard about different kinds of silicone or whatever. How does Deco Art do pouring me, pouring? Well, we actually developed our own pouring medium and it comes in eight, 16 and 64 ounce. It is, what we think the most affordable brand on the market and it's specially formulated to actually capture um, to create the cells that other people use silicone oil for or alcohol to create but we have formulated it so that all the cells are automatically created so yours has magic inside it's magic <laughs> it's magic pouring me excellent well let's pour okay so we kind of touched on it with a medium. It is actually an additive that you add to any water-based acrylic paint. Um, the paint that I'm going to be using today is our Media Fluid Acrylic line. This is new. Originally, it only came in one ounce. And because paint pouring takes so much paint, um, we've converted these into eight ounce size as well because you use a lot of paint when you're doing this. Okay, so how do we start? So what we're going to start with is um, I usually put on my rubber gloves because this is a messy process. <laughs> Which makes it more fun. Yes. The messier it is, the happier people are. The happier are. people are. So, and normally I would probably have a tablecloth or a drop cloth just in case we spilled. Um, I'm using just a regular aluminum roasting pan. Um, and this is just an eight and a half by 11 canvas panel board that we're working with. Okay. How many colors do you want to use? I am going to use um, probably four okay. on this. So I'm going to set up four little cups for you. Okay. And I'll start pouring some paint. Is there one of these colors you don't want? Um, no. Okay. So we're going to pour with the mixing ratio of the pouring medium is um, we've captured some ratios on the back in the instructions just to start with, but you're really going to use your best judgment of, um, when you're mixing it. You might want to add more or add less because you really, the key to this is making pro the paint very fluid. So that's where the pouring medium helps. So Am I fluid, you enough of these? You are. So okay. fluid acrylics are already very fluid. Um, anyway, so there are other craft uh, paints that are higher in viscosity that you're going to use a higher ratio of the medium with those. But with this one, we want to start with two parts of paint and one part of the medium. All right, so I've got a couple started for you. And we're kind of winging this, so you want they it are. to be one, one so, to one, but not necessarily. This is on this one. I want two to one two on to the one. fluid acrylics. Okay. So I'm going to add about one part, give or take, of the medium, and then I'm going to use a regular craft stick to stir. Now you want to stir slowly so that you do not create bubbles, because you don't want to create any bubbles. And while you're stirring, I'm just kind of over here pouring a little pouring medium in. So the, the end result should be that you really don't see any of the paint body left, like the viscosity. So you can see that you have the consistency of maybe like a condensed milk, evaporated milk in between kind of those two. Right, I'm going to panel this size. It really doesn't take a lot of paint. So we probably here have enough paint to do a couple of canvases. <laughs> yeah, I, got a, I got a little excited. <laughs> and there are several different techniques that you can use in order to do your paint pour. There's the dirty pour. There's just um, random pouring across the canvas, the different colors. You can also use it through a colander or a strainer to create, create different looks. So it's just really up to you. All right, so we've got four colors here. Okay, so here comes the messy part. <laughs> so I'm just gonna 
randomly pour different colors across my canvas just in a random Oh yeah, good idea. I get one a day. But with a dirty pour, you would actually layer these colors in um, one cup, a solo cup or whatever kind of cup, and then um, just dump it right in the middle of your canvas. The colors, and you don't mix the colors together. They kind of, they stay separated. But from here, this is the fun part where you start creating and you want to just turn your canvas around or whatever surface that you're using just make sure that you get all sides covered but you also want to make sure that you get all of the excess paint off because it needs to you need to drain the excess or else it might you might develop craters because it would be too thick so i got pretty excited pouring the paint obviously <laughs> yes. So as you can see, and but you can do fun things with the excess down in your little um, aluminum pan. Like you could take glass panels and just press them on the paint that's. I can also bottom. see for card makers taking a small piece of cardstock oh, and yes. just and stamping it up and, and creating to make it like different that. Backgrounds but as you can see, the design is moving back and forth across the paint painting while you're making so it. So the more you move it, the more the, the paint moves around. The and paint moves around and you'll actually develop more cells. The more movement. Cells are the little... If you can see the little round... Worlds. The little spots. islands that yes. form. So see how easy that was? Okay. So with a little supervision, pretty much anybody of any anybody age could do, do this. It. Even, even children could do this. Okay. And then um, once this dries, we also have a lot of people are, what's trending now is really a lacquer finish. And so to complete the program, we have our clear pouring lacquer, or clear pouring top coat, excuse me. But um, it also comes in 8 ounce, 16 ounce, and 64 ounce. Um, the great thing about this, it is a non-toxic product and it's only one step. Um, there's no mixing um, needed for this and you just pour it right out of the jar. Well, DecoArt is a, a fabulous expert in color and now they've gone ahead and made pouring, paint pouring, easier than ever so that anybody can do it. Thank you very much, Stacy, for you. demonstrating. Thank you very much for watching.